Real-time interaction analysis typically generates an extensive amount of data, which are most often presented as binding curves. The data need to be further evaluated in order to fully comprehend the interaction and to make proper decisions. To help with this, Ridgeview Instrument has developed TraceDrawer, a software explicitly designed to collect, evaluate, and compare real-time interaction data. It is compatible with a number of different formats, including ordinary text exports. This short instructional video will show you how to add data into the software and extract kinetic parameters using the evaluation module. There are three main panels in TraceDrawer. The graph panel, where you will find the currently selected data item, the tool panel from which you can see multiple tools to evaluate and compare data, and the thumbnail panel where all the data is stored as miniatures. Start by pressing Add Run in the left panel and choose a result file from a real-time interaction analysis. A window appears summarizing the experiment. The appearance of the window may vary between file formats, but it typically consists of a presentation of the graph a list of the curves, metadata about the file, and a few tools for altering which data to add. More detailed information about the opening window of your specific file format is found in Help. Press OK. A thumbnail representing the run is created in the run area of the thumbnail panel. The thumbnail that is currently selected is presented in the graph. No changes made to the run item will alter the raw data of the file, but are only modifications visible in TraceDrawer. We will now evaluate the data to extract kinetic information about the interaction. This is done by fitting the data to a kinetic model. Right-click on the run thumbnail and choose Kinetic Evaluation. This creates an evaluation item, which is found as a separate thumbnail. The tool panel will change to display evaluation tools. Information about ligand concentration must be entered before the curve fit. Drag the cursor to where the first concentration was added. Enter the concentration in molar in either scientific notation or by using the abbreviation P for picomolar, N for nanomolar, U for micromolar, or M for millimolar. In this example, one nanomolar of ligand was measured, which can be written as 1e-9, or just 1n. Similarly, drag the cursor to the start of the second concentration, which was 3 nanomolar, and enter 3n. After six hours of measurement, the ligand solution was replaced with buffer, which initiated the dissociation phase. Add zero as the concentration. Note that the concentration information is only applied to selected curves meaning that you can have multiple curves in the same run and add the concentration separately. Press Next. TraceDrawer allows you to fit the data using a number of different models. The data shown in this example depicts one ligand binding to one target, also referred to as a one-to-one -one interaction. This is one of the most common interaction types. Click Fit to apply the model to your data. After some time, a fitted curve appears in the graph and information is presented in the table about the kinetic parameters of the interaction, such as the association rate constant Ka, the dissociation rate constant Kd, and the affinity. Such parameters are important when, for example, characterizing interactions or comparing different drug candidates. In this case, the fitted curve clearly follows the shape of the true data. If a one-to-one -one model does not fit the data properly, you may explore some of the other models instead. These describe more complex cases, such as heterogeneous interaction or when depletion is present. Note that since these models fit more parameters, the result may look better even though they have no biological relevance. In other words, aim at the simplest model or, in more intricate situation, the model that best describes the situation of your measurement. For more information about the different kinetic models, see the manual found under Help. The manual also includes exercises which show you other uses of TraceDrawer. You now know how to add data from a real-time measurement and to extract kinetic information by fitting a model to your curve.
This was just some of the possible tools available in TraceDrawer. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss a video. Thank you.